strange genetically modified products. Vaccinated bananas. Researchers are now experimenting with injecting vaccines for hepatitis B and cholera into banana saplings. As the plant grows, the cells produce the virus proteins, but not the infectious part. So in the future, all people need to do to be protected against disease is bite into a banana. Researchers have also done similar experiments with carrots, potatoes, lettuce, and even tobacco. Purple tomatoes. The Johns Innes Center in the United Kingdom has been experimenting with adding anthocyanine to tomatoes and ends up giving them a darker color. Anthocyanine can be found in grapes and blueberries and gives them the darker skin, which is full of antioxidants and helps prevent cancer. But it will still be a while before blomatoes make it on the market. Frankenswine. Farmers have been dealing with an onslaught of toxic poop from their pigs due to the food they're feeding them. Pig feed in the US and Canada generally consists of corn and cereal grains, but the result is phosphorus-laden poop. Farmers tried putting phytase to help their pigs digest the phosphorus with less than successful results. So Canadian scientists have created a genetically modified pig called Canadian EnviroPigs, who are bred to make their own phytase and therefore have less toxic poop. Venomous cabbage. Scientists in China have managed to crossbreed the cabbage and scorpion genes together to create a cabbage with its own venom in order to reduce the amount of pesticides used. So when caterpillars and other bugs bite into the cabbage, they die instantly. But what about humans? Apparently the cabbage is modified so that humans aren't affected by the poison. Square watermelons. Square watermelons have become the center of a hot debate. The trend of these shapely melons have taken off in countries such as Japan. On one end of the argument, researchers have claimed responsibility for the genetically modified product and claim that the watermelon isn't edible and more for decoration. On the other end, farmers claim that you can create your own edible square watermelon by growing one inside a strong box. Glowfish. Take a natural zebrafish and combine its DNA with bioluminescent jellyfish and you have your first genetically modified animal that is marketed as a pet. Glowfish was originally created to be a warning sign for pollution, but researchers and scientists realized that if you add a few extra colors, you have a market in the pet industry. Humanized cow milk. In China, scientists introduced the human genome to bovine embryos in 2011 so that they can breed cows to produce humanized milk. Basically, this means that there are now cows that can generate milk that is identical to human breast milk. The experiment has been rough as 10 of the 42 cows died upon birth and several more since then. So the idea is great, but the execution is still being worked on. Flavor Saver Tomato the Flavor Saver tomato is the first one to be grown genetically and be cleared for human consumption. A California-based company called CalGene added an anti-sense gene to the tomato, ensuring that the ripening and rotting of the tomato is slowed down. But the idea hasn't quite taken off despite being in the works since 1994. First, the tomatoes were too delicate for transportation, and then they were too bland for consumption. Pollution Plants the University of Washington is working on genetically modifying plants that will help fight pollution. The idea behind the experiment is that the plant will absorb the chemicals and pollution in the groundwater and break down the pollutants and release them into the air. In these newer plants, they remove about 91% of contaminants where regular plants only remove 3%. How do you feel about some of these strange genetically modified products? Let us know down below. Thanks for watching.